Welcome, in front of me is a Realme 7 and today I will show you how to set up the device. So when you put it up for the first time, you will be presented with the setup screen as, I, as you can see right now. So from here, simply select your language, which I'm going to stick with English and from there select next, choose your region, again next. And on the next page we have the terms of service so obviously we do need to agree to the first one uh, that we agree to the uh, user agreement and the two additional ones below that so privacy uh, and uh, i think like update or whatever uh, those are optional as you can see based on the gray text right over here and here so we don't actually need to agree to those if you don't want to and from there tap on next and then we'll have ability to connect to the wi-fi now this step is completely optional. If you don't have a Wi-Fi network near you, you can simply skip it, which that's what I'm going to do. And the only thing that you will miss out on is the ability to log into Google. Uh, if you would want that, you can do that still later on after the setup is complete. Simply connect to Wi-Fi uh, in the settings and from there go to accounts and app Google. But nonetheless, uh, continuing on. So we'll, here we'll have the Wi-Fi assistant. Now this is a fairly nice option. So basically, uh, if you have multiple Wi-Fi's in your area that you are connected to, it will choose the best one, the fastest, and uh, basically if for instance the Wi-Fi that you're connected to right now just kind of sucks, your device automatically switches to the better one. So let's select that. And once you do, you also have another option that if both of the Wi-Fi's or whatever Wi-Fi you're connected to suck um, and your mobile network is faster, then it will switch to mobile network. Now, I would uh, discourage you from enabling this option if you have uh, some kind of limited data plan. So if you have like only a gigabyte or so uh, of mobile data, uh, this will drain it quicker than normally. So just keep that in mind. But if you have um, plenty of uh, data, for instance, like 10 gigs or more, then just by all means enable it. Uh, you probably won't really feel any kind of difference in, in the data plan right there. From there, let's go to next. And then we have Google services. So we have location scanning and send user and diagnostic data. Now you can read what, what they do exactly by just tapping on a drop down and having it uh, written right up here. Um, and if you don't like it, simply disable it. Uh, again here as well, you can disable it. From there, scroll down and tap on accept to go to the next page where you can set up a screen lock. Again, this is completely optional. You can skip it if you don't want to, but you know what, I'm gonna set it up anyway right here. And when you tap on the setup, it will automatically default to a six digit pin, but you can choose a different method. So you have a also option of pattern, four digit password, um, four to 16, uh, four to 16 alphabetical, or just cancel. I'm gonna go with the pattern. And from there, let's draw the pattern, redraw the pattern. And there it is, it's set. Now it also automatically goes to the face recognition. So if you want to, you can add it in. Uh, basically all it, it does is just look at your face and uh, be like, okay, that's that's about it. But I'm gonna skip it. Uh, and you can then also add a fingerprint. Again, if you don't want to, you can just tap on cancel and that will be it. If you choose to do so, simply tap on the fingerprint sensor and just scan your finger. And then we have recommended, so update overnight and home screen icons. So um, not really sure why I recommend it is home screen icons, but all you have here are just a couple different styles of icons, as you can see. So choose whichever one you just like more. And then over update overnight um, is just an option. Your device will update during night if you want it enabled. If you don't care, keep it off. And go to next, import data. And here we can import data from our old device. And now this is done through a application. So it will uh, guide you and tell you that you need to download an application on your old device. And from there, step-by-step uh, -step guide to how to connect your devices. And from there, you can simply choose what you want to transfer. But because I'm gonna be setting it up as new, I'm gonna go for later. And that's about it. Stop on get started and we should be on the home screen. And there we go. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.